Greetings, this is CJ from the Tactical Combat Clan, or TCC for short. Visit us by typing www.tcombat.com into your browser. This video is all about FTPing into your Art of War Central server. If you don't have a game server, then visit Art of War Central. You can pick up all sorts of game servers and dedicated boxes at www.artofwarcentral.com. Go and have a look. Okay, we've just launched our browser and uh, in the address window you're going to type http colon slash slash control dot art of war central dot com and hit return when we do that it connects to the art of war central website and you should be looking at a page which looks roughly like this Here you can enter your username and password. Just type it in. And when you've got that right, hit the Remember Me button and then click on Login. If you've done that, hopefully you've got it right and you're not rejected, you'll be presented with a page which looks like this. And all you've got to do then is hit the game server icon which looks like the big joystick and that will take you to a page which looks like this and you can see that your all your servers are listed here and you have basically your servers listed by IP and port and then over the other side you've got the actual game server name so click on the game server that you want to FTP into and you should meet a screen which looks like this can zoom in on the box in the middle, disregard the icons at the bottom. You'll see that you get the connection info, which is the game server plus the port, and then below it is the FTP, which is 6912.76.129.21 in this case. So we click on that, and a box asking us for a username and password pops up again. Hopefully, you reading this out of with your email that you've got from Art of War so you already know what your username and password is so you just type that in don't tick the box which says login anonymously um, instead just click the login button Once that's done, you'll meet a page which looks like this, which lists your game servers again and basically tells you how to log into the server. But if we actually click on one of these servers, you can actually see the contents of that server. And here you see all the directories and the files and the information. And what you can also do is you can also click on one of these files and it will bring up the contents of the file. You can do this you know, quick and easy if, if you just run, want to read a text file. Don't do it for something like an executable or a DLL because you'll get a page full of rubbish basically. So anyway, the top information here tells you that IE can't actually open this page using Internet Explorer 7. You have to go and hit page which is up in the top right hand corner Once you hit page, you're looking for Open FTP using Windows Explorer. And that will then open up a box asking you for your username and password again. Once you've typed that in, don't tick the Login Anonymously box, but tick the Save Password box and then click Login. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with a screen which roughly looks like this. I mean, that's, well, if we just zoom out, 
you'll see the whole screen. That's opened it in Windows Explorer. On the left hand side you can see your uh, your game servers by IP address and in the right hand pane you can see all of your files in that server. So here we're looking at 69, 12, 76, 129 and you can see all of the directories, the admin, the admin utils, the bf2cc and below that if you come right down where it says tca.patches below that you can see the rest of the servers. So in the right hand pane you've got your directories you can see them there like folders so if you wanted to go into those folders you just double click on them and it would take you into them and the same with the files if you wanted to download files you can do that if you wanted to upload files you can do that if you wanted to view files you can do that also and that's basically how to get into your game server using Internet Explorer 7、okay, so you already know how to log in. So now I'm going to show you how to download your files. So all you have to do is select the file that you want to download and drag it into a folder that you've created.、Um, this one's called My Stuff, and all I've done is created this folder. I'm just dragging from the FT the FTP site into the folder. Very simple. Okay, hopefully you've logged in with the information from section two, and you're ready to go. So basically, grab your file, drag it into the My Stuff folder we created before in section three, and that will download it. You'll get the nice box that pops up and then you right click on it and select open with click on that and the box will pop up and you click on notepad and OK and you should be looking at a screen that roughly looks like this now you can edit your file And that's it. That's how to edit your file. Save that. Click on the X, and that's it. You're all done. Ready to upload it. Okay, so we've covered downloading and we've covered editing. So now we're going to cover uploading.、Um, and just to go over those points, we're just going to download a file and edit it using Notepad. Click on OK. That pops our、uh, Notepad. Add some text to it. There we go. Just add in some text to this. Once we've done that, save it. Exit Notepad, and then we just grab. Make sure it's make sure it's in there, which it is. Then just drag and drop back into the FTP server. Should get a pop-up box, which asks you to confirm that you want to replace the file. If the file is already in there, it'll ask you to replace it. You can put yes, yes to all if you've got lots of files, no, or cancel. In this case, we're just going to click yes. Which will upload it. There it goes. There you go. Your file has been successfully uploaded. Okay, we're just going to delete that and download it. Make sure it's the same file. There you go. That's downloaded it again from your FTP server. Just make sure it's the right file. There it is、uh, with the line that I added. So yeah, everything's been uploaded successfully. That's how to upload your files. Thanks for watching and tune in for part two for the Smart FTP tutorial.